The flow calculation was carried out on a structured multi-block grid. Here we see the blocks for the runner. The red blocks represent the grid for the wicket gates and stay vanes. To improve accuracy, an O-grid was used around the blades for each of the blade rows. The violet blocks describe the spiral inlet volute and together with the greenish-yellow blocks of the draft tube, the grid for the whole Francis turbine is completed. The flow has been visualized by means of small weightless balls that precisely follow the streamlines of the flow through the turbine. The balls change color as they change speed. The blue balls are moving slowest and they become first yellow and then red as they go faster. The flow accelerates in the volute and through the stator veins and reaches the highest speed in the runner. It leaves the runner with a high velocity and is then decelerated in the draft tube. The flow in the draft tube has a spiral motion due to the swirl component of velocity there. Let's take a closer look at the flow in the volute. In this sequence, balls entering the volute at the same time have the same color. On the inside of the volute, the flow accelerates strongly and the balls rush into the stay veins and the wicket gates. On the outside of the volute, the flow is slower, giving rise to a so-called free vortex flow, the classical ideal flow that is used as the basis of volute design. It is interesting to note that, as a result of three-dimensional and frictional effects, the velocity varies strongly across the blade span at the inlet to the stay veins. Now we examine the flow close to the blade surface in the runner. On the left, we have the best operating point, and on the right, an off-design operating point. At first sight, it is surprising that the flow in the best point appears to be less smooth than that at off-design. The explanation of this can be found when we turn to the flow in the draft tube. The top part of the picture shows the draft tube at the best point, and underneath we see the flow at off design. In both cases, the flow leaves the runner as a swirling flow, but at the best point there is much less swirl than at off design. The swirl has a major effect on the performance of the draft tube. At best point, the flow is uniformly distributed on both sides of the pier, whereas at off design, the flow travels mainly down one side of the pier and the other side is blocked by separation zones with high losses. And now for a ride through the turbine. We start at the inlet to the volute and move slowly into the turbine, accelerating through the stator veins and runner into the draft tube. Here we drift slowly to the draft tube exit. And now we repeat our ride, but in slow motion. We accelerate through the stay veins and wicket gates to the runner. And race through the runner to the draft tube. In the draft tube, the flow spirals slowly with a light swirling motion to the exit. These simulations were carried out for Salza Hydro in a research and development project at Salza Innotech. The video was animated by the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. <laughs>